Opening here in Tokyo and the great career of Ichiro Suzuki closing tonight. And Ichiro's going to get a chance to make a play in right field. And why not? That one toward Ichiro. And just gliding. Still so graceful. And the Mariners players are going to gather. This will be the moment. For the final time coming off a of Major League field. One final sayonara to all the fans here in Tokyo. Thank you for the memories and taking us along this wonderful magic carpet ride. 2,999 strikeouts. One away from the 3,000. Swing and a miss. He got him. Strikeout number 3,000 for CC Sabathia. He becomes the 17th pitcher in Major League history to pick up 3,000 strikeouts. And there are his teammates congratulating him near the first baseline. My teammates coming out, that was awesome. Um, you know, the, the reception from the fans here was great. You know, having my family here. 19 years in the big leagues. He has been a class act the whole way through. Felix Hernandez making what will more than likely be his last start ever as a member of the Mariners. Here's the one, two from Felix. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Felix turns and salutes the Kings court. Going to take his final bow right now. There are moments in baseball that you will never forget, and this is one of them right here. A player who gave his heart to this city, to this organization. And I was walking to the bullpen. I was like, my eyes would do it down. It's a place, not right now. Not right now. You know, I've been here for 15 years, and you know, I love the fans, and I love the support. It was a great game all the way around. Tonight, we deliver a powerful message as we once again join our partner, Stand Up to Cancer. Carlos Carrasco, he's in a big fight, but he's a strong guy. It seems like he's winning that fight. We're looking at Carlos Carrasco, and he's back on a major league mound. You don't get choked up watching this, then you're not human. And the crowd at Tropicana Field gives him a standing ovation as well. And it's swung out a bouncing ball to the second baseman. Freeman will throw out Wendell. It was really fun to get it back to my teammates and get it back to the mound. The way they support me from day one to now, it was a great moment. Yes, before the game, he had his family here and big hugs from so many people, and they are so excited for his first start. We're with uh, Raul Jr., his brother. This is Lala, his sister here, enjoying the ice cream. And Raul, you're watching your son hit. Is this an emotional day for you? Very, very emotional. We got our first one of the year. Just homered off the ground. <laughs> we just homered. He's a Cy Young award. That's a Cy Young. We just homered against the ground in his major league debut. That is unreal. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First game in the major leagues, and he looks like a cool, calm customer. His family's here. His dad's here from the Dominican Republic, and he's got a lot of friends and family here, and everybody is watching. Bottom of the ninth inning of this 2-2 game with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. leading off. And that's a fair ball down the right field line. Guerrero is on his way to second base with his first major league hit. A winning run into scoring position. Allen Hansen a run for him. High fly ball to deep right center. Laureano getting back, and the Blue Jays will walk it off. It's a game winner in the bottom of the ninth. So the Diamondbacks have two on and one out of the inning for Greinke. I don't think Zach's going to be bunting. Greinke has helped himself a lot with the bat over his career. And a fly ball center field. He hit it well at the warning track, at the wall. Home run, Greinke. There it goes. A three-run homer. And the D-backs take a 4-2 lead. That was crushed. It sure was. Boom, pow. Man, here's Granke who hit a three-run home run to center his last time up. Granke bidding for one more. It's gone. Zach Granke, a multi-home run game. 6-2 D-backs. Now he's just showing off. <laughs> wow. Have a night.
Malik Smith, a good night with a run batted in, a run scored, and a stolen base. Here's the pitch on the way, and it's inside for ball four. Smith with a walk. Malik's on at first base. There goes Malik. Pitch on the way, a strike thrown on a second, and safe at second base. Malik Smith. So another steal. He's on at second. Malik's causing quite the distraction. Now the stretch, and the one-run runner goes. Strike called, throw to third, and Smith is safe at third base. Alex Smith swipes third base after swiping second, his third stolen base of the night. Smith again a lead at third base. Here's the stretch. Here comes Smith to toss the first. The throw home. Alex swipes home. He stole second. He stole third. He swipes home. Yeah, if he picked, uh, I wanted to go. So that was about it. He stole second. He stole third. He has stolen home. Velasquez, the pitcher, is now playing left field. It's a 3-3 game in the 14th inning. And a line drive base hit to left field. Abreu to third. They're waving him home. The throw to the plate by Velasquez on a couple hops is in time. How about that? Vince Velasquez with an outfield assist. He threw a seed. We go to the top of the 15th inning. Two men on in the pitch. Line drive to left field. Velasquez diving no, catch. No. Oh, man, what a play. What an eventful couple of innings for the Phillies pitcher in left. The man is flat out an athlete. Three balls and two strikes. The Yankees can't afford to be as risky on the base paths. Down by two runs. Little flat ball. That is trouble. And diving catch by Brantley. the top of the seventh. The play of the series by Michael Brantley. He threw an absolute missile to first base to double off the runner. You know, obviously trying to make plays behind your pitcher. Our bullpen did a great job tonight. Uh, competing every inning, giving us a chance. That's what you got to do to win big games. Hour number four. This game between the Tigers and Chicago White Sox. It's Tim Anderson. 11-11 tie in the bottom of the ninth inning. And this ball drilled. Deep left field. For my pitch in my zone, I got it. Uh, that don't mean nothing what the guys did before me. Uh, I was locked in all night, and I was able to drive some out of the ballpark for the win. Kevin Biggio, the 24-year-old left-handed batter. Swinging a fly ball, hit the deep center field. Mason Williams going back. He's at the track looking up. It's gone. Kevin Biggio blasts it out of the ballpark. Last pitch to Kevin Biggio. Drilled it over the wall in straightaway center field. Pulls it through the right side for a base hit. Here's Kevin Biggio. He run home run in a single for a multi-hit game. He swings. It's a line drive into the right field corner. A double for Biggio. Gunning for a triple for the cycle. It's off the wall, and he becomes the third player in franchise history to hit for the cycle. 17 years ago, his dad hit for the cycle against the Colorado Rockies back on April 8th of 2002. What a night for Kevin Biggio. Homer, single, double, and now he triples. 80 coming up, bottom of the ninth. The Rockies and Dodgers tied at two. Beatty drives the ball to center field and deep. At the wall, it's gone! Matt Beatty, walk-off home run! Right here's Verdugo, bottom half of the 11th and 4-4 tie. Fly ball right field, different night, same story for a rookie Dodger. Walk-off home run, Alex Verdugo. Will Smith to the play with the intentional walk. This could be rookie walk-off season. Fly ball center field, carrying pretty well. Hampson back, at the wall! And the Dodgers win all three games this weekend on walk-off home runs from rookies, no less. Shohei comes up, two on, nobody out. Shohei drives one out toward left center field. Kiermaier going back and at the wall, gone! Big fly, Otani shot, a three-run shot. Halos take the early lead. The Shohei lines one out to left field. And that will hit the wall. Shohei on his way to second. He's got himself a double. Home run and a double. So he's halfway to the cycle, Gooby. Breaking ball. He hooked this one into the right field corner. See if he can get a triple out of it. And we're almost at the cycle. All he needs is a single. Shohei a little flare out to right center field. There's a base hit. 
And Shohei Otani has just hit for the cycle. And they want that baseball, and you need to have that baseball. First Japanese-born player to hit for the cycle, Shohei Otani. Bottom of the 11th of ALCS, game two. Astros two, Yankees two. Here's a fly ball. Two of the ALCS in 2017, and Carlos Correa wins game two of the ALCS 2019 with this. It was never going to be out to um, We were going to win tonight. Today, when I hit in the cages, I felt great. So I knew something good was going to happen today. He's hitting baseballs. People don't see baseballs going. 28. Next one breaks the record. There's the record. 29 breaks the home run derby record for home runs in a round. I never thought we'd see it. Jock, <laughs> you better bring it, buddy. <laughs> Needs one more. This has to get out. Oh, he tied him. Guerrero keeps raising the bar, and Peterson keeps finding it. Talk about drama right here. Oh. The one swing. Here we go. Valiant fight by John Peterson. Make room, make room. Here comes the polar bear. Here comes Pete Alonzo. There it One is. More. Pete Go Alonzo on. fires the bat up. He's your home run derby champion of 2019. What a show we saw tonight. Vlad Jr. and Alonzo. That was fun. Dom Smith is going to come to the plate now for the first time since late July. He represents the winning run, tying runs aboard at first and second, two out. A long shot here. Might be the happiest guy on this planet if he hits a home run to win this game. Here's the pitch. Swing and a drive well hit. Right field. Back goes Ortega at the wall. How do you like that? Put it in the box. Dom Smith with a pinch hit home run wins the season finale for the Mets. I just wanted to come back and play and help my team. And I mean, I couldn't have dreamed of anything like this. I can't even wrap my head around everything right now. His first in bat in two months, and he hits a walk-off home run in the season's final game. You go to the ninth inning, Astros four, Rangers two. It's Hunter Pence is accounted for all the Rangers scoring with his two-run homer in the fourth. He drives one to right field, setting Reddick back. He's at the wall. He jumps. He makes the tremendous catch. He robs a three-run home run. Two scoring back to third. Reddick a game saver. I cannot believe how well he timed that up to make a play. Whoa, he went <laughs> way above the fence. That is one of the best catches you will see the entire season. Wow. You no, know, he's got popped that way as we saw earlier in the game. Fortunately, it wasn't an inch higher. I think I got it right at the tip of my glove and was able to hold on to it. But, man, that was an emotional moment. <laughs> little piece of sporting history the first ever regular season major league baseball game in london two run shot aaron hicks first mlb home run in europe it's a six run first inning for the yankees and that's what they came to see out of here michael jenny we have a tie ball game in london it's the yankees six it's the red sox six yankees retake the lead in london Frank sinatra is on the mic and tonight in london it was new york new york Three home runs in the first inning for the Boston Red Sox. Aaron Judge might be six feet seven, but even he couldn't reach that one. Absolutely what a, He's been absolute box office. That is fielding of the highest order. And the Yankees sweep the Red Sox in London. Six no-hit innings for Aaron Sanchez in his Astros debut. Will Harris gets the double play ground ball. And the Mariners have been no-hit through seven. That's bounced right side, and the inning is over. That is eight no-hit innings for Astros pitchers. Nervaya strikes out, and the Astros are one out away from a no-hitter. Fly ball. The Astros have done it. They create history of their own. A four-pitcher combined no-hitter. Aaron Sanchez, Will Harris, Toby Aditi, and Chris Davinsky hold the Mariners to no-hit. One out, and Max Muncy the batter. Set with the strike zone out there on the mound, already pacing and staring in. The thing, too, about Bumgarner, I mean, if he gets into a bit of an argument with you, he's going to want to have the last word. Probably wouldn't be a good idea, Bum, to get tossed here in the first. No. Muncy hits this ball to deep right field. Forget about it. And 
Bumgarner's yelling at Muncie. He's telling them to run. Mad Max with a few more words for Mad Bum. The Dodger-Giant rivalry is alive. The more I think about it, you know, just let the kids play. And that's, what, that's what everybody's saying, but I can't. You know, I hit the ball, and then he yelled at me. He said, don't watch the ball. You run. Um, and I just responded back, uh, you know, if you, want, if you don't want me to watch the ball, you can go get it out of the ocean. MVP chance are back for Alex Bregman. Pitch on the way. And that is drilled deep to left field. And you can kiss it goodbye. Astros on top. Bregman carried his bat around first base. I don't know if I've ever seen that. He dropped his bat after he touched first base. And now 21-year-old Juan Soto. That is hit in the air to right and way out of here. And now Soto carries his bat down to the first base coach, Tim Bogart. Did you come in and say, boys, I take him deep, I'm carrying I, Since I saw that, that Bregman did in, in the first inning, I was like, that looks pretty cool. I want to do it too. <laughs> Very special evening there as Carl's grandson, Mike Yastrzemski, will be leading off the ball game. Two down, and Yastrzemski will come up. He's going to get a reaction. He's going to get an ovation every time he comes up all series long. It was incredible, you know, just being able to be in front of family and friends and couldn't have asked for a better welcome from the entire crowd. You know, that was, uh, that was special. 3-1, Yastrzemski, it's a high drive center field. Jackie Bradley going back, looking up. It's gone. And you can only imagine what's going through the head of Mike Yastrzemski and his whole family. He has homered at Fenway Park. Unbelievable. That is an absolute dream come true. Two outs, top of the ninth, and a one-run game. Five-four Brewers. Tough customer is waiting. That is Jose Martinez. The fly ball and back in the deep. Lorenzo King. Didn't take long, did it? Didn't take long. Game one. He saved the game. Just trying to make a play. Uh, get a good read on it. You know, get up and go get it. So I pride myself of being a playmaker. That's what I do. Standing ovation at Bush Stadium. And they are giving him a hero's welcome. Albert hits it a ton out to deep left. He gave us 11 years of memories we'll never forget. He's just given us another. A thunderous ovation for Albert Pujols. Tip of the batting helmet to the fans at Bush Stadium. That is purely magical for Pujols here at Bush Stadium. A blessing to witness what we've seen here so far this weekend. To share this moment, you know, with my family, my wife, my five kids, my friends, you know, family that drove from Kansas City. It's pretty special, you know. With Fenway Park, bottom of the eight tied at four. So here's Jackie Bradley. That ball is tagged, right field, back warning track, at the wall, up and oh! He caught it! He caught it! Unbelievable catch! Stevie Wilkerson, one of the greatest catches you will ever see! I can't believe that! Oh my goodness! Wow! Up on top of the fence! Wow! Look at this! I just saw the ball go up. I knew he uh, put a charge into it, and I, and I tried to get back to the to the fence, and uh, you know, got up and made an athletic play. When I came down, uh, I realized I was sitting in a couple people's laps. Howie Kendrick, there's nothing this team asks him to do. He hasn't just been so good at. Howie Kendrick, left field. Off the facing of the scoreboard out there. Oh, that quieted down the crowd, and now Turner hits one deep to center. See you later. Back to back home runs for the Nationals. Adam Eaton puts a charge into one. Out to deep center. Three in a row. Oh, my goodness. Back to back to back. Rendon deep to right. See you four in a row. The Nationals have a hit back to back to back to back. Four consecutive batters have hit home runs. Bases are loaded, two out. Dodgers five and the Padres four. Pitch hitter coming up in Hunter Renfro. Jansen is an out away from getting out of this messy piece of business. Padres looking for a hero. Will Hunter Renfro be that hero? Renfro to left field. Deep and a grand slam to walk it off. He just won the ball game. Ah. 
high rush to deep left field. Grand slam, walk off, pinch home run for Hunter Renfro. The grand slam of Canley Jansen, and the Padres come back to win it. Clean for a cutter in his own, and was able to get it and uh, made a good swing. Hunter Renfro is today's Padres hero. One away, bottom of the ninth inning. The Phillies have the bases loaded. Last ditch hopes for the Phillies. The Cub lead is five to three. Bryce Harper at the plate. Oh my God! Deep to right field, way up there, and way out of here. Second deck walk off home run. Grand slam, Bryce Harper. Wow! The Phillies have come from behind to win it seven. That was sick. Wow. I don't even know. I mean, that was just, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. That was one of the coolest moments I've ever had in my life. I mean, unbelievable. This fan base, everybody, that team pulling for me each night. I mean, what a family we have here. And I mean, this is, this is unbelievable. Justin Verlander continues to mow down the Blue Jays. You only have one base runner and don't have a hit. And Justin Verlander is through seven no-hit innings here at Rogers Center. He strikes out the side in the eighth to give him 13 through eight no-hit innings. He is one out away from a no-hitter. Ground ball to third. Toro is there. He's through in time. Justin Verlander, another exclamation point. In a Hall of Fame career, his third career no-hitter, one of six in the history of the game with three or more, and his second here at the Rogers Center. I mean, I'd be lying if I if I said I didn't know that the uh, the list of guys that thrown three instead of two gets pretty small. Um, some of the guys I idolize, you know, it's a special moment. I, I, I'm so happy to be able to celebrate this with my teammates. Five and a third of no hit ball. One nothing in favor of the A's. Short right, a long run. Profar going out, still going out. Has a play, diving, and he corrals it. It wow. makes a sensational catch. If something happens tonight, hang a star on that one. Two outs. Here's Joey Votto. Center field. Loriano back. Loriano at the wall. He leaps, and he caught it. This one takes a home run away and keeps a no hitter going. You'll never see two better plays in sequence than that. Drama at the Oakland Coliseum. Two outs in the ninth. Everybody on their feet in the stands. Swing and a miss, he did it. Mike Fires for the second time in his career has thrown a no hitter. Tonight he no hits the Cincinnati Reds. Sensational performance by the A's right hander, Mike Fires. Wow. Postseason baseball in our nation's capital. The National League wild card game. 3 1 Brewers. Josh Hader trying to nail it down. Bases are loaded for Juan Soto. Wide drive, base hit to right. Battle score one, battle score two as the ball gets away from Grisham and right. That's going to score three run, and the Washington Nationals have the lead. They have Soto hung up. They tag him out, but nobody in this joint cares. Incredible. Get a base hit to the middle. That's what I think is. I just get a base hit to the middle. We try to hit the tie in the game. The Nationals are in front. It's Washington 4, Milwaukee 3. 52 home runs tying baseball's rookie record. Last night hitting his 52nd homer, realizing what this means historically, the names that he has passed on his way to the top of the list. Now he's even with Aaron Judge. It's it high in the air, right center field. Hamilton looks back. He's at the wall. He leaps. It's gone. Home run, number 53. And Pete Alonso stands alone as Major League Baseball's rookie home run king. The story of Pete Alonso in this year with the Mets, you couldn't write it any better. Now he's crying on the field after breaking the all-time rookie home run record. It's just an incredible moment for the game and for him. I don't even know how to describe it. It, it, it was surreal. It was it was almost an out-of-body experience. I, I feel like I I was the one swinging the bat. It just I feel like it, it just happened. And an unbelievable moment. Bottom of the 11th inning, Red Sox won and the Orioles won. Last game of the series. And the 0-2. High fly, left center deep. Jackie Bradley racing back all the way to the wall, leaping up. And Jackie oh Bradley, oh, he made the play. He caught it, climbing the wall with a brilliant play. Jackie Bradley's 
senior here to see it. Game saving, spectacular. The game was over. He didn't see the ball right away, but he got it. A sensational catch by Jackie, and we're still alive. Mancini tipped his batting helmet. That certainly would have been a game ending home run. One of the best catches we've seen this year. Went back, tracked it, and um, got a good jump on it, and um, timed up my footsteps the way I wanted to, and got up there and executed. Men's 10 of the Nationals, four as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Turner makes it a 10 to 5 ball game, and the Nats are making this interesting. The Mets 10, the Nationals 6. You knew they weren't going to go down without a fight if you've seen this team play at least once this year. The bases are loaded. Diaz has given up 12 home runs this year, and here he is to try to save this game. In an inning, the Mets started with a six run lead. Way back. Kurt Suzuki coming up. It's the Mets 10 and the Nationals 8. 3 to the Suzuki. Swing up. And deep to left field. Way back. Going. Going. It's gone. Goodbye. Game over. And if you walked out of this ballpark when the Mets scored five runs at the top of the ninth inning, you blew it. Game's never over until it's over. You know, we just try to put good at bats together. And uh, this happens. Seven runs in the bottom of the ninth. Bases loaded, two out, a base hit would tie it. Extra base hit would win it. Gone! Aaron Hicks delivers a two out, two run blow. Do you believe this game? Two run lead in what has been an interminable affair. This is the greatest game of the year. It's 14 to 12, and the Twins have just taken three walks to fill the bases in the bottom of the 10th inning. And now the tying run is in scoring position for Max Kepler. The 2 1. Kepler lines that in the air to left center. Hicks on the run, dives, and he made the catch. He made the play. Oh my goodness, what a catch from Aaron Hicks. I had a feeling that he was gonna he was gonna hit Greeny that way based on location of where Austin was set up. So um, I don't know. I just had a, I just had a hunch and was able to get a good read. And a fitting finish to an unforgettable night. Tenth inning. Nationals and Dodgers are tied at three. They're gonna face Clayton Kershaw going to the eighth inning, down by two runs. It is gone. Goodbye. And this is now a one-run game here at the top of the eighth inning. So now the batter is Juan Soto. He swings and belts one in deep right center field. Game tying home run by Juan Soto. The former Dodger has a chance to put the Nationals in front here in the tenth inning in game five. This is deep to center field. Bellinger's back. It's a grand slam. Howie Kendrick with a tenth inning grand slam to break it open. Wow. It is seven to three, the former Dodger breaking hearts in Los Angeles. You know what, that's some magic right there, man. We've had a great year all year. I mean, like that start of our year, you never thought we'd be in this moment right here. Tonight, we were able to best them. And, you know, they're a really good team, but, you know, one swing of the bat can change things, and I'm glad that we were able to get this series. First time Angels have been home since the tragedy of Tyler Skaggs. Tyler's mom, Debbie, will be tossing an honorary first pitch. There's Trout, 28 home runs and 67 runs batted in. And he blasts one deep out into left center field. Trout out here. Trout puts his signature on this moment here tonight for his good buddy Tyler Skaggs. Wow, what a blast by Trout. On a night that began with the Angels honoring Tyler Skaggs, the Angels now are one out away from no hitting Seattle. This is ground ball to second base. Red Heifel falls down, picks it up, fires the first. The Angels have no hit. The Seattle Mariners. Wearing his jersey and his number, we honor the memory of Tyler Skaggs. And now the 45 jerseys being placed on the mound. This is absolutely indescribable. This is the most amazing moment I've ever seen. He meant so much to us. And obviously, what a night, you know, honoring him, 45. You know, with his, with his mom here, Carly. Uh, his whole family, friends, and in front of our, you know, home fans. Um, you know, this is definitely for him, and he's definitely, uh, he was definitely watching over us tonight. Well, we go to the bottom of the ninth. We are tied at four. Going to roll this Chapman is into the ball game. Astros played the Yankees four to two. Live ball into right. Back at the wall. This ball is gone for a home run. And the 
this game is tied. It's 4-4. Astros get the winning run at first base with two out. Altuve will walk in. Three for seven in his career against Chapman. Here's a 2-1. That's driven deep to left center field. Garner is going back. Looking up. See you later. See you later. Astros headed back to the World Series. Jose Altuve, a walk-off two-run homer. And the Astros beat the Yankees 6-4. to four, Win the ALCS four games to two. I mean, Chagman is, for me, one of the best closers I ever faced. And he throws a hundred. I wanted to be on time for the fastball, but looking for something I can handle, and it just happens. Anthony Rendon with a home run here in the top of the seventh, and then Juan Soto a walk, so the Nationals have gotten Zach Granke out of the ball game. They trail game seven, two to one, but now Soto is aboard at first with a tying run. That's how he Kendrick will face Will Harris. So one on, one out in the top of the seventh. Soto at first after the homer by Rendon. Kendrick into the opposite corner. That one well hit. And it's gone! Howie Kendrick has delivered the Nationals a one-run lead! Off the right field foul pole. Do you believe it, Howie Kendrick? Part two. Well, he, he will so dance and he will drive <laughs> as Howie Kendrick has provided his signature moment in the World Series. Were you talking to it? Oh, yeah, the whole way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, when it hit the pole, man, oh, my, like the adrenaline just, I mean, it was just all I had, man. It was, I mean, it's phenomenal, man. This, these feelings, you can't describe this, man. Nationals are a strike away from franchise history as Hudson tries to close it out. Swing and a miss! They have climbed to the top of baseball's highest peak, the Washington Nationals are the world champions! And you guys cured my heart. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Tonight, yeah. tonight, I will celebrate with my boys because we are the world champions. Yeah. Yeah.